Hello, it's Alex here, Vic the Kilo, 2 Papa Radio Charlie. You'll recall from the chap who put the video up on YouTube on how to make a half-wave end-fed um, coupler for the 20 metre band using a coax tuning capacitor to, um, to tune it up perfectly for a, an absolute perfect match to a, a half-wave end-fed wire. Um, and also the chap who manufactures and makes the, the commercial um, model for the uh, 2040 coupler, which is both a 20 metre half wave end fed and a 40 metre quarter wave, all built into the one coupler, very high efficiency unit, doesn't have a tuning capacitor, pre-tuned by myself. I manufacture these and sell them all over the world. But in saying that, whether you're using one of my commercial boxes or you're doing one of my do-it-yourself projects, and that's projects up on YouTube as well, I get asked on a daily basis by Lots and lots of people who email me asking me questions or, or ordering um, couplers. Um, how I put together my little uh, support mechanism for my 20 metre half wave end fed um, antenna when I go out portable. So I've decided to put together this short video that just describes how I mount my, uh, my system and, and how easy it is to put it up and take it down. Okay, so Let's just have a look at what we've got here. Basically, I use, I use three support mechanisms. This particular one here is a mechanism that I quickly built up and you can see it. It's just a square piece of metal there, a couple of hoops welded on and a piece of pipe at the top. This particular bracket that I've made here is designed to slip over the top of posts. So when I go to parks here in Australia, all the parks seem to have the same size um, pine post. Um, they're mounted all around the park and what they're designed to do is to stop people driving their vehicles on the grass. So when I pull up at a park all I have to do is drop this over one of those poles and I've got a, a support point for my antenna. Okay so if I go to somewhere where I don't have that support point then I've made this addition this um, separate one here that fits on the tow bar of my car. So I'm same size pipe again as this one so whether I'm slipping it over a post or I'm just driving into a car park, if I have to, on the top of a hill, a nice park somewhere, I can put my antenna system on the tow bar as well. I've also got another one here, and this is a wheel mount, okay? And this one here, you just simply drive the car wheel, the rear wheel, over there and put it um, in between. So it just stops in between here, and you've got another support there for an antenna as a wheel mount. Another 10 minute welding job to make that particular bracket. So whether we're using either one of these three supports, um, I'm gonna now explain the bits and pieces that I've put together that I can mount on either one of these three supports. Okay, let's let's talk about the first one here. That's the wheel mount. Let's just pretend that's um, uh, in a situation where there's a car wheel driven over it. So let's look at how we mount the antenna system on that. First of all, I've, I've bought myself a piece of PVC pipe here. It's, it comes up to about uh, belly button height on me and it's 55 millimeter OD and I found myself another piece of pipe that fits neatly inside and I've put another piece of pipe inside for added strength so I've double thickness the pipe okay and um, in order to hold that in place inside I put one screw one screw straight through holds the two pipes in place so there's one pipe inside the other pipe the second pipe doesn't go all the way down to the bottom, it actually goes about, about, about a foot off the bottom, 30 centimetres off the bottom. So the double, the double uh, thickness of pipe only goes down about 30 centimetres off the bottom. Okay, so let's have a look and see how all this mounts. So first of all, this pipe goes over the top of there like that, and there's the screw there that holds the two pipes together. That screw's got a double function. So when I put my second section on here, and this is my section that holds the, um, the, the actual coupler, and by the way, there's a pipe there, and there's a reducer on that end, and on the other end of the pipe, there's a reducer as well. So the pipe's just a pipe, a suitable size pipe with a reducer on each end that actually fits over this one. So let's, let's put it on. So there it is, I'm putting it on there at the moment. That goes, that reducer fits on nicely, very very tight actually 
and goes down and sits on top of that screw. And that screw there stops it going down too far. Okay, simple as that. So let's have a look and see what we've got so far. Okay, and there's the coupler mounted there. And then the antenna, which is a 10 meter high telescopic pole, fits in the top. Okay, so let's just stand back and have a look and see what we've got there. Wheel mount, nice strong bit of PVC pipe on the bottom, intermediate pipe here with the coupler mounted on it and the antenna on the top. And if in normal situations, that would be extended to the 10 meter length. And you would just simply plug your antennas into the coupler at this point and away you go. So that's the mount for the wheel mount. The next mount system we're gonna look at is the post mount and the car tow bar mount. So what I've done, I've got myself another piece of PVC pipe same same size 55 millimeter od and down at this end i've put in a couple of bits of pipe and a bit of a steel pipe inside so that that steel pipe there fits over the top of both the, the tow bar and in this case the post mount okay so i can use this bit of intermediate pipe to mount my my post mount and my tow bar mount by the way, the reducer here doesn't necessarily have to be steel. If you can reduce it down just using some P a combination of PVC pipes, a couple of screws, a couple of screws and nuts there, you'll see that I've put through to hold those in place inside. So let's just have a look at how we would um, put this one together. Okay. Okay. Let's let's have a look at the uh, the support mount system, and uh, this could also apply to the tow bar mount system. So first of all, we've got our post bracket there. As I say, it could easily be the tow bar as well. And it, and it fits onto the adapter, which has got the reduced size pipes in it, we recall. And on the top of that, there's a self tapper screw um, in here, and that's that works as a stopper for the intermediate pipe coupler. Okay, and by the way, you can buy these couplers and all this PVC pipe from your local um, plumbing supplies. And on the intermediate, we've got the um, the coupler mounted, and you, you'll recall that um, that the coupler's mounted here with a couple of screws. Well, this top screw here acts as the stopper for the antenna when it goes in in the top. Moving along, we've got another reducer here, and that takes it down to the size to match the uh, the antenna. So you'll see that the antenna then fits in the top, and normally that would be extended to 10 meters as well. Okay, so just to go over it again, post mount, yeah, you've got the mount that fits on the post mount, the intermediate pipe that holds the coupler, and you've got the antenna mounted at the top. By the way, these antennas, they're made by Haverford in Sydney, haverford.com.au. You can order those online, and they're quite reasonably priced as well. So for those people that ask me how I get the extra height uh, using a 10 meter pole, of course you'll You'll recall that the, um, the antenna length is 9.8 metres, so I get the extra uh, 2 metres uh, by using this arrangement here. And uh, that brings my feed point up to about eye level, where it should be for, um, for maximum um, radiation using a half wave end fed. Or, or in other case, using the coupler, a quarter wave uh, for 40 metres. And just to finish the video off, if there's anybody out there interested in um, getting getting me to make one of these commercial couplers for them, they are a very, very good coupler, very, very high efficiency coupler. No tuning required with the coupler. They come pre-tuned from me. You've got the 20 meter socket. That's a 20 meter half, half wave socket and the 40 meter quarter wave socket using the same counterpoise system for both antennas. Both are world beaters, spoken from Australia to Britain on both both bands using this antenna quite regularly. Works extremely well, low angle of radiation. Fantastic antenna system. Good luck out there everybody and uh, hope to catch you all on the air. This is Victor Kilo 2, Papa Radio Charlie saying 73.